Ew. I'm so gross. <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, so here's the before. Okay, this is my after of that same area here. I can't believe it. It didn't take me long either. Okay, you guys, I'm not a salesman. I'm not selling you on this. I'm showing you this because I am, my mind is blown. Okay, my house, travertine floors, and I love them. They're awesome, but it's gross in the kitchen, like um, where the grout is. I've been wanting to reseal my floors because I dropped a huge... Um, Costco size apple cider vinegar in glass and it exploded all over the floor um, So anyway, it etched my my shiny topping on there and I need to reseal it But my grout is so gross. Well, I'll show it to you here You can kind of see I'm trying to get the shine on there, but you can see right there how it's like all <laughs> shiny and then it's a huge splatter too. I you just can't see it because of the um, At night you can see it more anyway so I want to redo, reclaim my, I mean reseal and everything, but my grout is gross. I don't want to seal in this gross darkness. So um, I've tried to clean it. I've scrubbed it. I've got all kinds of things and it's, it's pretty bad. I mean, there's places that aren't awful, but. But I went to my hair lady, the lady that colors my hair. She told me about this stuff, Norwex. I told you guys about it when I've talked about it in the car. I got, they, it's, everything is woven with silver. Um, it's like a, here, I got it right here. Microfiber cloth, like this. And, but silver is in there and it kills bacteria. So I've been keeping, I got a three pack of the body ones and I keep them in the car, each of the vehicles, uh, to sanitize my hands. But my hair lady told me about this paste that they have and, um, I finally am now trying it on my grout because why not? I've been wanting to, that's what I got it for. And I was hoping it'd be a miracle. And let me show you what is going on here. This is crazy. Okay, it's not totally showing because the lights are on, but okay, look. Here's where I've basically done, let me see if I can turn these lights off, hold on. Okay, there, I turned the light off because it was so shiny, but now you can see my splatter from my apple cider vinegar. <laughs> it has ruined my shiny floor. Um, Okay, anyway, so look. This is where I've been using this paste and this is where I stopped. And I have scrubbed this tile, this grout, in my kitchen forever and I can't get it. Let me turn the light back on. But you can see where I did it and where I stopped. I can't believe it, my mind is just blown. I've only basically done around a couple of these, but look, did it? Didn't do it. So this stuff is freaking a miracle. I've been using it on um, things like gross shoes that aren't white anymore. And it's like a magic eraser, but even easier. It's really crazy. I can't believe it. I am just shocked at this. Let me turn the light on. Okay, so all it is is this. Norwex cleaning paste, and they're calling it a paste but it's not, it's hard like a hockey puck. So it's hard. This is the part I've used. I've used a bunch of it and it just dries kind of like chalk, but it's hard chalk. Um, anyway, you just take your microfiber cloth yeah, that's wet and wipe it on there and it makes it into a paste and then you can scrub it on there. But what's doing it crazy is, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Toothbrush and some water. So here's where I'm gonna go. Right now you can see that's pretty clean. That is gross. This is like a raised tile, so it just gets stuff in there. And so when I mop or anything, it just kinda of just shoves in there and just stays. It's really annoying. So, here we go. Before, a little paste on here. And this isn't like hardly using anything. I'm, trying, I'm shaking it, I shouldn't hear, sorry. Here, I'll do this whole little tile so you guys can see it. Okay. 
look at that. I don't know if it's even showing up. In this tile, the grout's wet, so when it dries, it's gonna be just amazing. I can't believe how clean, <laughs> how easy it is. I'm not even using any force. I'm just like barely, because I want the tips of the toothbrush basically to get it in there. Oh yeah, I can already see it. Oh my gosh, my kitchen's gonna be clean. Anyway, I just wanted you guys to see what I've done so far. I've got a lot, a long way to go, but you can see the grout. Let me see, can I even show it? Like I can barely even see this grout that I did here in all the rest of my kitchen. I can see my grout line. That's actually a good way to show it. I've done this square around it and none of these other squares. I'm just shocked. I'm so excited. <laughs> and now I've gone over here to this square. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be great. Oh, I've been ashamed. Don't be judging me guys on my gross floors. I am ashamed of them. I clean them. I just can't get the grout lines to come through. Very good. And I've tried all kinds of stuff. So this is just amazing. Oh my gosh. So nice. Okay. Done with that section. Okay, so Norwex's thing is all about cleaning without chemicals, and they're kill they clean everything with silver, basically. Um, anything that's got, they call it backlock. It's like bacteria lock that says that on that item. Um, that means it has that silver thread sewn in there. I guess it's thread, I don't know. Um, wow, this looks so good. I can't believe it. Okay, anyway, so that's what their whole thing is, is being, environmentally clean, not chemicals. And um, their stuff is pricey, I mean, but lasts forever, apparently, as long as you take care of it. And you can clean any of these microfiber things. Uh, what I got basically was I got the, this EnviroCloth, um, which I want more of these, I'm gonna get them because that's, it's my favorite thing of all of it, other than maybe now this paste, I love it. <laughs> um, I got this and then I got the body cloths for in the car for the dumpster um, dumpster diving to sanitize our hands so we'd quit using baby wipes and um, hand sanitizer because I mean it's still chemicals and you guys have to hear me scrubbing while I do this anyway so I I recommend that that's amazing if you guys want to do this if you guys want to buy something go for it I've got a link in this video um, I've also got it on Facebook somewhere um, where I posted, I was asking people what people liked because I am going to order some more stuff. I just don't know what else to get. And I'm just thrilled. The more I've used this stuff, the more I just freaking love it. So everything's over there where I just scrubbed is now drying. My grout's drying. So that means I need to definitely seal it because it's, if, if it's wet and it's staying wet, that means my sealer's gone. I, we got this floor put in. Um, we had a leak in our kitchen in a pipe and it we got a whole new kitchen out of it so um it's been 10 years and or more since we put this tile in and um it's been 10 years of grind just you know growing in these little cracks and crevices and i'm ashamed totally ashamed ashamed when anybody comes over too if they see it i'm like <sighs> i do clean i promise it just looks gross I dumbly chose light grout when we have a dog, we had two cats. Um, I've got, I'm barefoot all the time. You know, stuff like that. I drop stuff all the time in the kitchen. Stuff just goes in my grout. It just happens. We got grandkids. We got, um, you know, lifetime. Life happens. So it happens. You guys have it too, I'm sure. And 
can't believe this kitchen. I, can't, I cannot believe what I'm looking at here. How much little time this has really taken. Steve's still editing the video and I'm just doing this, wasting my time. And it looks amazing, just amazing. Let me show you. This is what I just did here. I wish it would show you guys a little better. It looks like the same to me, but it is not. When you look overall, I've done, this is that big raised area I showed before. Now it's drying so you can see, what is that? Um, you can see that it's lightened now because the grout's dry to where you can't, even see it and then here's normal grout dark done grout light can't even see it normal transition and then gross grout you could totally see it I, I'm shocked can you guys see it or is it just me my mind is blown this is a good product really good you guys ew look at this section here Ew, I'm so gross. <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, so here's the before. Okay, this is my after of that same area here. I can't believe it. It didn't take me long either. Um, I am just shocked. Shocked at how clean this grout is. Yay. I'm so excited. My kitchen looks so good. You can tell where I've done it and where I haven't. But seriously, this whole section now is done. Some of this here is done. Haven't done anything over there. Uh, nothing over here. Okay, there's a good before and after. This looked dark. Just from the grout being clean, these tiles look lighter. Huh? Um, and these look dark. I. With the naked eye, it's even more shocking. You can tell the sections that I've done. <gasps> Yay. On to the next. <laughs> okay, so, um, my, when I went to this party, this Norwex party, it was at Amanda's, the host lady, her name's Rebecca, and she's not the host, but she's the sales rep, I guess. She did this thing I, that blew my mind. This is what got me on the Norwex thing, trying it. I was already going to anyway, because Amanda was having a party. But um, anyway, she took, she had some bacteria swabs, like, um, I don't know, the kind that you'd use, the food service would use, or like the guy that comes out and rates your restaurant and says you have an A or B or whatever. They were sort of like a Q-tip, like if you're doing a DNA swab. And um, she took a plate, rubbed chicken on it, raw chicken and then did the swab and um the swab turned purple or whatever color it was that meant yeah bad bacteria so then she took this cloth that was a back cloth uh enviro cloth just a wet one no chemicals no anything wiped the plate one wipe did the test negative because silver kills bacteria and then she licked the plate licked raw chicken that she'd rubbed all over this freaking plate. And um, just from this, this cloth, that's why I was sold on it. I'm like, I definitely need that for in the car. I've been wiping down everything. Um, you know, cause we're dumpster diving. This is a dumpster diving toothbrush, by the way. It was new, but keep everything for cleaning purposes around here. Um, but anyway, she did that and I was sold. I was like, wow, that is unbelievable. And then I did research, not research. Research means I Googled. I Googled how does silver kill um, bacteria or whatever. And I guess the debate's still out how it works. And it wasn't Norwex. It was just silver in general. Uh, so it was nothing biased because I didn't want Norwex stuff. And I didn't want to have be using this these cloths. Um, and spend your money on them if they're not gonna do anything exceptional, you know? I can just get a, I've got tons of microfiber cloths and they always stink, they always stink in the kitchen. And um, she said she'll go like two weeks without washing her, her cloths. Um, 
and she uses them, dishes and everything. And they don't stink as long as they um, dry out or have time to dry out, I guess. Um, they won't stink because the silver won't allow bacteria growth. And when I read about it on the Google, it actually said that silver turns bacteria against itself or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly what it said, but it was something crazy like that. And it, it will kill bacteria upon itself. So there's no way this can harbor bacteria. So um, I couldn't believe it. It was crazy. But I'm totally believing it. Everything that I've read has been really cool and amazing. And I'm so totally sold on it. And uh, I'm loving it. I'm not going to become a representative. I'm not going to sell you guys anything. If you guys want to buy something, go for it. I just wanted to share with you guys what I just experienced because it's crazy. And I'm loving it. And um, I'm going to order more stuff from my party. So the party, how the party thing works, it's kind of like a Tupperware party where you invite all your friends over and um, Tupperware, Pampered Chef, whatever. And everybody, if they want to buy something, buy something. And then the host gets, I don't know what they get in Pampered Chef and stuff. I think you get free things. Same thing with this. If, if people on my party, which some friends of mine have ordered some stuff, um, if they get something, I get something. And I don't know what it is. I'm not even sure. It just depends on whatever the promo is at the month. But I don't care. I'm ordering stuff whether I, anybody orders anything or not. But I already have some people that ordered stuff. And my party's still going. So if you guys want to join in, go for it. Link's in here. And I hope you guys love this as much as I do because it's crazy. I, I can't believe this kitchen and how easy it is. I'm just sitting here talking to you guys and cleaning my gross floors. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not. Um, I have cleaned the floor with a toothbrush before sections to see if I could get this grout up um, because I need to seal it and I don't want to seal the blackness in um, and there's some areas I need to put some new grout which I do that all the time travertine always seems to like lose little pieces and chunks and stuff it's very delicate and there's parts you know we're hard on everything in our house since we're resellers we're constantly rolling carts around in here not the ideal thing when we bought this house we weren't reselling so we didn't think about that obviously when we did the floors and chose these um, but I would choose them again I love them they're so pretty but anyway that's how this whole thing came up is we're hard on our floors there's always little pieces to patch the only downside is this grout and now that doesn't seem to be a problem if I clean the floor with a toothbrush once a year or once it's sealed, I mean, I haven't done it in 10 years, cleaned the whole floor hard. And I've got a scuba that runs around and cleans and mops and vacuums. And um, it just sinks more dirty stuff in the grout because it can't get, you know, in the grooves there. This is looking good. That's what I was just working on. And it's still wet, so it'll look even better once it dries. Normal grout. My clean new grout. The grout line looks really good. That's what I'm cleaning is our grout. And actually, I do notice it now. Like it looks like it's not even there. I know. It's more. It looks more solid now. Remember how black they were? Yeah. Oh, it was really good. Like here, it looks like a big solid piece. I know there's a line, but yeah, good job. It's that yeah. Norwex no, little stuff. Little elbow grease. It's a toothbrush. With Norwex. In that Norwex paste, they call oh. it a paste. But here's what our grout looked Does like. Does that paste have silver in it? No, I don't think so. But this is what our grout was like. Oh my the whole kitchen was like this. That's a big uh, and difference. And look at it. I've done over there. No, it looks fantastic, when, especially when you look at it from here. I know. When you see what wow. it was before and an after. Good job. Thanks. It looks really good. It's been really easy. I'm doing a video on it, showing nice. people. <laughs> hey, look what I just did. I actually cleaned my floors. Yeah. But yeah. I have cleaned my floors a billion times. And there's sections over there, like right where your foot is. I haven't gotten there yet. I could tell. Yeah. I see where you done it. It looks good. It does. It looks so good. And I didn't clean the floor. The tiles are, you know, they were already clean. It's just that grout with that toothbrush and that paste. Cool. Excited. It's awesome. They look so good right now. I'm not done yet, but I just wanted you guys to know about it. Because I'm thrilled. In the moment right now, I'm thrilled. I guess the window cloth is the other cult classic. The Envirocloth, 
which is this baby. And the window cloth everybody loves. And this cleaning paste is amazing. And if you're a dumpster diver, any cloth will do with the backlock in it for cleaning your hands. Um, but I've been cleaning the whole house with that Enviro cloth, the same one. And I've snagged it up and I've been destroying it. Over, you can't really see it actually, but I cleaned some racks and the racks had, um, had some like raised edges. So it jacked them up. But anyway, my kitchen looks good. Okay, thanks for joining me. If you guys wanna buy something from my party, it's in the link in the description. Um, and enjoy your life. I won't know if you did or didn't, so don't worry about that. But look on a local app, look whatever, look for Norwex and uh, get to cleaning without chemicals. Okay, so if you guys have used Norwex or whatever, um, since I'm gonna get some more stuff, let us know in the comments what your favorite things are from there, how you use them, and um, how long your stuff has lasted, that kind of stuff. Just for other people who wanna read in the comments if there's something they wanna get, if I get something else, which I'm going to, uh, what I definitely don't want to miss out on because um, I'm super excited about <laughs> what just happened in my kitchen in here. So I am sold. I am thrilled. Um, but I want to know what you guys have and what you guys like and what you guys like best or what you must have. The must haves is somebody's going to buy something. I'd say EnviroCloth, that paste if you've got tile and other things you can clean. Um, oh, I heard it's amazing on like a cooktops and ovens that paste works great for that it's great for white shoes um i can't remember what else i heard but anyway let us know because i'm curious i want to know and if somebody else wants to buy something they can know too on to the next see you later bye guys